What is software defined networking? How is it different from a traditional network? What are its advantages? Are there any issues that we should consider before implementing SDN? Let us try to understand the basic concepts of SDN. Traditional network interconnect multiple networks using different routers. Imagine computer A wants to send data to computer B. The routing device or the router primarily does two functions on a very high level. The first one is to decide the best path for taking data from computer A to computer B. Most of these traditional routers run protocols like OSPF, Open Shortest Path First, which will help to learn a network topology and update the routing table. This function is performed by the control plane of the router. The second function is to forward the actual data packets to the next device based on the address of the destination machine. This function is performed by the data plane. Traditional routers have both data plane functions and control plane functions running in the same hardware. Mostly they are proprietary hardware and the softwares are provided by the vendor. So a network administrator will have to learn the technologies developed by different vendors and configure each devices in a traditional network. In software defined network, it separates control plane and data plane functions. The SDN switches just perform the data plane function of forwarding the packets to the next device. So it can run on less expensive hardware. The control plane functions are managed by a controller. The primary function of this controller is to identify the route and update the flow table in SDN switches. The controller talks to the switches using a protocol called OpenFlow or the controller can talk to these SDN switches through OpenFlow APIs and it can update the flow table entries in each of these SDN switches. These APIs are called Southbound APIs. So the controller use the Southbound APIs to update the SDN switches. The controllers also provide APIs for the application to communicate. These APIs are called northbound APIs. So applications can provide dynamically instructions to the controller and controller can then update the SDN switches. So now a developer can write applications that can configure network in real time based on business requirement. Imagine an application that uses video streaming. It is a very critical application and the video traffic has to be prioritized. In a software defined network, the application can use the northbound APIs to send the instructions to the controller and controller can update the switches accordingly so that the application can prioritize video streaming over other traffics like VOIP. The controller provides an abstraction layer for the application. The application need not know the complexity of the actual network infrastructure. It can just provide instructions to the controller and controller will take care of updating the actual physical network infrastructure. These open controllers can run on any virtual machine. So there is no requirement for purchasing a proprietary hardware for running a controller. Developers can run the applications on any virtual machine and provide instruction to controllers. What if the operating system on which the application runs get compromised and a bad actor gets access to the application? By compromising the application, the bad guys may get access to your entire network because the application can instruct the controller and the controller can update the network infrastructure. 
So adequate security controls should be implemented on applications, controllers and physical network infrastructure to reduce probability of such compromise. I hope you understood the basic concepts of software-defined networking.